purses, yard utensils, kitchen supplies, and other toss-it-in-the-corner objects add up to become an avalanche when you open the closet door. You've seen the aftermath of these types of disasters. Digging through trinkets to find that special pair of scissors or the exact tool you need can be time-consuming and frustrating. Here are 15 easy do-it-yourself storage solutions that will save you time, money, and frustration. Part 1 by Carrie Smith 1. Kitchen cabinets can be a tricky area to organize. How many cups have you dropped trying to pull out the one from the back of the cabinet? With this easy solution, you'll have easy access to all your mugs. Simply hang your mugs from the top of the cabinet using a metal screw and hook. Your mug will hang from the top by its handle, making it easy and accessible. This also allows for quicker drying after a wash. 2. While we're talking about hooks, do the same thing with your small baskets in a closet. A simple metal screw and hook from a hardware store makes it easy to hang baskets above a shelf or in a closet. This is also a great way to save dead space. Storing things only in the bottom of a closet wastes space, but hanging something from the bottom of a shelf or from a hanger can always save room. 3. But what if you can't hang something from the top of the closet? Long shelves that go back into the corner are some areas which always seem to get junked up with random things you need, but only use once in a while. Install a Lazy Susan into your shelf corner so that less space is wasted and you can turn the table to find the items you need. This brings items in the back to the front and vice versa, so you can remember what is in the back. Four, if things are feeling unorganized, rather than making it into an obstacle course, get things straight. Even though your foldable lawn chairs can easily double as a hurdle for intruders, Hang them on the garage wall using a couple slots of wood angled upwards and nailed to the wall or exposed beams there. Then you can hang your foldable lawn chairs upside down and retrieve them when needed. 5. Shoes can be one of the most difficult things to store, especially near entryways. Many do-it-yourself solutions just plain fail at storing shoes. You don't always have to be handy though. Try this fold-out shoe storage bin which doubles as the perfect size bench. It's perfect for an entryway. You can sit on it to put your shoes on, as it has a comfortable built-in cushion on top, which is also removable if desired. Stored away inside the bench, shoes are out of sight and out of mind. Unfold the easy-to-open rotary door to reveal your perfectly organized shoe collection. Check the description to find out more. Do you have friends that ask you to take your shoes off at the door? Ever wish you could instill that in your family's habits so you're not tracking around dirt in the house, but what do you do with the shoes when they do? Having several pairs of shoes left in front of the door is chaotic and can be really untidy. Well, I found a few solutions that may help with this problem. One of the more creative solutions for a small entryway is to mount coat hooks low on the wall so shoes can be hung. Even kids can hang their shoes and have quick access when ready to leave the house. Next is cubbies. If you have enough room in your entry for a piece of furniture that has cubbies, this works really well for little ones as well as adults. You can even label the cubbies for each member of the family. IKEA has a few shoe storage alternatives that can be used in the entry that don't take a lot of room. It'll take a little more effort for the kiddos to put their shoes in there and actually shut the door, but again, it's a really good alternative to keep those pair of shoes organized at the front door. An easy and less expensive way is to simply put a basket at the front of the door, and this works really great with kids. Well, at least that is until the basket becomes overflowing. But before you invest a lot of money into a better solution, it's going to help you get your family in the habit of leaving their shoes at the door. And the bonus is your floors are going to be much, much cleaner and stay fresh longer. Six, the entryway isn't the only place it gets clogged up though. Need to find the bleach or Windex? You'd probably rather call the insurance company than dig through the endless bottles and rags under the kitchen sink. Knock over one bottle of cleaner and the cabinet becomes the world's largest game of dominoes. Instead of digging on your hands and knees under the kitchen sink, check out this Simple Solutions cabinet drawer. 
Enjoy the drawer divider as you can store more objects without getting messy. Made from an epoxy coated steel structure, this easy to pull out drawer is the perfect organizer for under the sink projects. Hey guys, it's Natalie from this Milk and Honey Life vlog. So we've been working on our kitchen lately, so I decided to go ahead and tackle underneath my kitchen sink. So I decided to share a few tips with you on how I did it. So with like every project, you want to go ahead and clean everything out and give it a good scrub down, making sure you get all those nooks and crannies. So once I took everything out, I noticed I had duplicates of a lot of cleaners, and they were actually cleaners that I had never used. So I went ahead and threw those out and condensed everything down to what I did use on a daily basis. And here is the finished product. I will leave a link below to all the products that I use if you guys are interested in purchasing them for your project. So we have a vintage Montgomery Ward metal sink and this little basket was already attached to the door. I keep my mini dust sweeper from the Dollar Tree, dish soap, and the Mrs. Meyer spray that I use to wipe down the counters every night before I go to bed. And on the left side, you can also see that I have my cleaning caddy from the Dollar Tree uh, where I used to store everything that I used almost every day when I cleaned the house. And then next to that are some spray bottles that I don't use regularly but I could have pretty much handy if I need So on um, the other door I've used command hooks to hang up my Swiffer duster and my gloves so I can have them at easy access whenever I need them in the kitchen. And then I've also used a three door pull that I purchased from Walmart to organize some other things that I'll get to in just a second. And then on the top I've used to store other things that I don't need on a regular basis. So the bin I use to actually store those products I don't use on a regular basis, I got from Marshalls. You can find them pretty much anywhere these days. And right next to it, I just stored extra things I had, like dish soap. So I went ahead and labeled the three-door pull with the first drawer being my Swiffer refills for my wet jet and my duster. The second drawer is my sponges. And the third drawer is just some road pest control that we use on occasion. Everything is still within access, but it also allows me to use some vertical space that would have been lost otherwise. Seven, looking for easy and cheap ways to continue organizing your kitchen? Another great way to store spray bottles under the sink is to install a thin tension rod inside the cabinet so you can hang your spray bottles. Scoot them from side to side or organize them according to kind using this easy to install tension rod. If you don't like the height, just move the bar. That's the beauty of a tension rod. Eight, if your craft or sewing area is littered with objects of all shapes, use a pegboard to get organized. Pegboards come in all shapes and sizes and it's easy to find baskets, small containers, and wire holders to fit into the holes for easy storage. You can even paint it the color you want or frame the sides before hanging it on the wall. Use small buckets to hang from a hook on this pegboard where you can store rubber bands, paper clips, push pins, or other small items. This is a great and easy way to get organized at the craft station. Nine, all right ladies, cooler weather is on the way. So where are your scarves and tights? If you're like most, they're probably stuffed into an overcrowded drawer somewhere. Keep them where they're easy to find by hanging them in a simple knot across the bottom beam of a coat hanger. Each hanger can easily store three to five scarves or set of tights. Hanging in your closet, they're easy to find when you need a specific color. 10. But what about storing smaller accessories like jewelry? Armoires can be extremely expensive and they just take up more space. One easy method is to use upholstery tacks on an old piece of wood trim. It looks classy and provides a nice space to hang your jewelry from. Push the tacks into the wood and give it an all new paint job before mounting it on a wall. This is a really simple way to get your rings, necklaces, bracelets, and other accessories out of the bottom of the drawer. It will also keep everything from getting tangled. 11. Corner shelves are one of the most fashionable and easy to install space savers out there. 
Have a corner that needs a little spicing up? Find a piece of wood and use a saw to cut it into a triangle shape. Simply mount the shelf in the corner using large nails. Make sure you're hitting a stud in the wall so your shelf is adequately supported. You can also stack these shelves if you have enough wood. It's the perfect shelving unit for an alarm clock or vase that doesn't fit elsewhere. You can also mount these higher up in the corner to avoid accidents by children or pets. 12. The bathroom can also be a culprit for lurking miscellaneous items. Be ingenious and use spice racks nailed to the wall to hold things such as hairspray, bottles, brushes, soap, razors, or other items which are usually left on the bathroom counter. These are simple shelves made for spices, but they can easily be repainted or decorated according to your preference. The nice thing about using spice racks is that you can position them wherever you'd like on the wall. 13. The most annoying and awkward item to store in the bathroom is the hair dryer. Whether you have a turbo-powered dryer the size of a machine gun, or a small dainty one, cords tend to tangle in everything, including your feet sometimes. Put a plastic magazine holder on the inside of the bathroom cabinet below the sink using screws, and this becomes the perfect hair dryer holder when you open the cabinet. Just fold up the cords and place it back inside the magazine holder and close the cabinet door for quick storage. 14. A hair dryer isn't the only thing you can store in a magazine holder. Try fastening one to the inside of the cabinet door below the kitchen sink to store your aluminum foil and plastic wraps. You can also use it for garbage bags or grocery bags, and it can store pretty much anything that will fit nicely inside. And lastly, 15. You're probably thinking, okay, that takes care of the big stuff in the bathroom, but what about the small things like toothbrushes? If you don't want to store them in a toothbrush holder, which is easily knocked over, cut small indents on the edge of the cabinet shelf to hang your toothbrush from. Make the cut small enough to where you can slide a toothbrush in to hang from the actual brush, but not so big that it will fall through. Looks like a bomb went off in here. Everything is so unorganized, I don't know how you find anything you need. It's not unorganized. It's an obstacle course for intruders. That's it. A few simple and cheap methods for easy and quick storage so that you're making the most of the space in your home. Please like and share this video with your friends before you go and leave some comments below on which one you like the most. Press the subscribe button if you still enjoy playing this video and see you again next time. Thanks for watching.